Hello, everybody. My name is Graham Elwood, and you are watching The Political Vigilante. So the big impeachment vote happened today. First of all, Tulsi voted present, meaning <laughs> she didn't support the... Um, she didn't vote yes on impeachment. She just voted present, which is a way of saying I'm not against him being impeached, but I'm not in favor of the actual how you're doing it. Very curious to see how she responds to that. But I want to talk about, I've done numerous videos. I think the impeachment process is a complete, it's a distraction. It's a distraction from Epstein. It's a distraction from, look, they, they war, they, the 188 Democrats just voted in Congress to give uh, Trump $738 billion for war, a $22 billion increase. Uh, I mean, 219 Democrats voted to continue uh, the Patriot Act. We're not talking about climate change. It's a complete distraction. We're not talking about the 30 million Americans that are in poverty. It is a complete distraction. You know who else has some interesting ideas about impeachment and Nancy Pelosi? Donald Trump. Wait, what? Here's something Donald Trump said about praising Pelosi and saying George W. Bush should have been impeached. Listen to this. Nancy Pelosi, the speaker. Well, you know, when she first got in and was named speaker, I met her, and I'm very impressed by her. I think she's a very impressive person. I like her a lot. But I was surprised that she didn't do more in terms of Bush and going after Bush. It was almost, it just seemed like she was going to really look to impeach Bush and get him out of office, which personally I think would have been a wonderful thing. To impeach him? Absolutely, for the war. For the war. Because of the conduct of the war. Well, he lied. He got us into the war with lies. And, I mean, look at the trouble Bill Clinton got into with something that was totally unimportant, and they tried to impeach him, which was nonsense. And yet Bush got us into this horrible war with lies, by lying, by saying they had weapons of mass destruction, by saying all sorts of things that turned out not to be true. Nancy Pelosi, the speaker. So I just want to... Got in. I, I just want to say, like... And, and I'm very impressed by her. I think she's a very impressive person. How... how how crazy is that? There's Donald Trump saying, one, impressed with Nancy Pelosi. Two, she should have impeached George W. Bush for lying about the war in Iraq. Donald Trump is saying that. What does that tell you about A, our ridiculous two-party system, and B, this ridiculous impeachment. He said, look, right? He's calling out the Republicans. Why are they impeach Bill Clinton? What did he do? Of course he's going to be, look, we know he's buddies with Bill Clinton. <laughs> At least he was prior to 2016. They both knew Prince Andrew and Jeffrey Epstein. Listen to that. So this whole impeachment thing, that's the thing I always, when Democrats get all wound up, I go, you had... What George W. Bush did, those were, that was an impeachable act, but oh, you know what, you can't do that when both parties and the military industrial complex, which buys ad time and basically helps control the media, the corporate media, and pays both politicians and both parties <laughs> almost equally, you can't call out war. You can't impeach a guy over lying about war. I don't like Trump. I didn't vote for him. I'd never vote for that guy. And the Democrats, rather, they don't like Trump so much. First of all, what they should have done, as soon as 2016, they should have gone, we got to own, we lied, we cheated in our own primary, we cheated Bernie Sanders, you know, we purged hundreds of thousands of the voter rolls, the super delegates, the Podesta emails, and we just got to, this, is, this was wrong. This was wrong what happened. And this is why we have Donald Trump. And now for 2020, we're gonna get behind actual progressive candidates and encourage real progressive candidates to run. Not prop up Buddha Judge, which, ha you know, 
and Kamala and Buttigieg, who all are tied in with Obama and Clinton and those that, that crowd, Joe Biden, Liz Warren, who is such a centrist. She was a Republican until she was 47. Liz Warren stood up and clapped with Trump, who now is the worst guy, he's the most evil, he's all of these horrible things. And there's a lot about him I don't like. Well, look what he did. He called the Ukrainian president and said, we're not going to give you aid until... But then what, what Hunter Biden gets $50,000 a month, that's okay. But look what Trump is saying. I like Nancy Pelosi, but why didn't she impeach George W. Bush for lying about the war in Iraq? By the way, that's one of the things Trump ran on in 2015. I know he said xenophobic things. He said sexist things that bothered everybody on the left, but the people on the left forgot to listen or they weren't paying attention. Or they didn't realize how powerful what he said. He, I remember watching the Republican primary debates and he called out Jeb Bush for the IRA. He goes, your brother did the war in Iraq. 9-11 happened on his watch. He ran an anti-interventionist campaign. The way the Democrats should be constructing themselves right now is here's how we're going to beat him at the polls because you can't get the votes in the Senate. They're going to lose this impeachment and then Trump's going to go, you, try, you couldn't beat me. But Trump's old words show you that the impeachment, they should have gone after George W. Bush, but nobody was going to impeach him for lying about the war in Iraq because everybody profits from war. The banks profit. Oh man, Wolf Blitzer profits, Brian Williams profits, Sean Hannity profits. They all profit from war. Their numbers go up when they're talking about war and they show rockets and destruction. Look at that. That's why people, a lot of people resonated with Trump. The Democrats offered them nothing and he said those wars were ridiculous. Now, what you do is you say, He's up the troop count in Afghanistan. He said he was going to pull out troops, and he hasn't. He pulled, said he was going to pull troops out of Syria and then put them back there to guard the oil. He's put troops in to help guard Saudi Arabia's oil because Saudi Arabia can't, doesn't even have their own military because they're too rich. So American sons and daughters go have to, have to guard rich Saudi Arabia oil. 22 vets a day die. We're still in seven wars. Trump is still bombing everybody just like Obama did. That's what you should be doing if you're the Democratic Party and you should get behind Bernie Sanders. And Bernie Sanders actually should go harder at the Democratic establishment. He's still, Bernie Sanders is still going, oh, Trump's bad, Trump's bad. That's Democratic establishment talking points, Bernie. Be the progressive version. What people resonated with Trump was that he was a, he talks tough. He's a plain talker, right? He shoots straight. Do the progressive left version of that. Like when you say, I wrote the damn bill, that's what gets people fired up. When you say Putin's a dictator and Trump's the most corrupt president ever, really? Yeah, Trump's corrupt. Of course he's corrupt. But when Obama gave the bank $700 billion and didn't prosecute anybody, his cabinet was picked by Citibank? Steve Mnuchin didn't get prosecuted by Kamala Harris, who Obama then endorsed? Hunter Biden was getting $50,000 a month because his dad was vice president under Obama. Obama goes and goes to Flint, Michigan and does that fake water thing and says the water's fine. That's not corrupt. He says, let's see how Standing Rock's going to play out. Bernie, come on, man. Come up swinging. Why are you playing nice to the Democratic establishment? That all they've done is screwed you over. It has a lot of us going. Are you going to just buckle? Are you going to just buckle? Buckle, Bernie. Is that what you're going to do when they say, oh, Buttigieg or Cory Booker or, or Liz Warren and they screw you over again when the superdelegates screw you over again, Bernie? Is that what you're going to do? Because you know what I did last time when you endorsed Hillary Clinton? I voted for Jill Stein. And I didn't have a show back then. Now I have a show. Now I will scream from the mountaintops not to endorse, I will not endorse, I will not support any corporate Democrat if you or Tulsi get screwed. Impeachment's nonsense. <laughs> Trump said Pelosi should have impeached George W. Bush. 
Bush, Bus, Bush, whatever. More distractions from the ruling class, everybody. Thanks for watching the show. Like, share, subscribe. Put these videos out there on your social media. Watch the ads all the way through when you click skip ad. I don't get paid. And please support what I'm doing. I do not get any corporate money. I don't have, I'm not a rich kid. I don't get a benefactor. I don't have, uh, you know, a consulting firm like McKinsey donating to me or a big law firm that I worked for or, you know, One West Bank or the oil lobby. None of those people donate to me. So if you could go to patreon.com slash Graham Elwood or rockfin.com slash scratch Graham Gilwood. You know what I'm saying. It's all in the show notes. I'm having trouble with words right now. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Progressive Comedy Tour in 2020. Ron Placone are coming to you. Go to GrahamElwood.com for your tour dates. Tucson, San Francisco, Orlando, Miami, Seattle, Portland. We are coming. Nashville. A lot of great places we're coming to. Uh, I'm dropping new tour dates all the time at GrahamElwood.com. You are making Gotham great again. Thanks for watching.